Welcome to another segment of Veteran to Veteran. I'm Conrad Kaskowski, and this is Dwayne Wick. We're both members of the American Legion. We're both members of the Plymouth, Wisconsin, uh, Ladwig Zinc Graf Post 243 AC, Wisconsin, because I notice it goes out a little bit beyond Wisconsin. Difference in hats. Dwayne, you got to explain it again. Okay. Yes, uh, I am the department historian. I was appointed by our department, American Legion Department Commander, as his historian. So I do traveling around with him and document his travels as he's going to his different events and meetings. And because I'm a post member and I wear a blue hat, so that's the difference. Okay, our topic today? Numbers. Numbers? Hmm. I thought uh, you, you said we weren't going to have any math when no, we were doing no, this no, show. There, there, there's no math. <laughs> but from time to time, I'm asked about veterans and their questions related to the VA backlogs of claims and the such. However, before we get into that, our last show dealt with uh, research, and we talked about a study called Preventable. That study involved the use of a cholesterol drug and its effects on preventing dementia and Alzheimer's disease. I received an email from the Milwaukee VA Zablocki Medical Center asking permission to post that show on the Preventable website. Now that comes out of uh, North Carolina. Okay. And other VA Facebook pages, which are regional throughout the country. And of course, um, uh, permission was granted. Our interaction was noted, and specifically our accuracy with the facts. Now, maybe, okay. Dwayne, it wasn't uh, Emmy Award worthy, but at least we got to pass some important info on. Well, what I have heard, uh, I, it, was, it was a good program. Uh, like you said, it had all the facts. Our department adjutant also had commented that he had seen it, and he said it was very well done, and they want to make sure that nationally through the Legion that this program gets uh, its, its notoriety. So I think right. we'll be seeing a few more viewers. Yeah, well, my agent will talk to their people okay. and we'll get All things right. going. <laughs> now, I have a question for you. Uh, do you have any ideas how many veterans there are in the United States? Mm, not really, but uh, the topic is numbers, uh, so I would bet that you have that. There are around 19 million U.S. veterans as of this year, and according to the data uh, by the Department of Veterans Affairs, that represents less than 10% of the total uh, U.S. population. 19 million, that's an impressive number. How many are active duty in the United States? That's interesting because there's a total right now of 1.4 million active duty. Now this number is 30.8% smaller than it was in 1990. Mm. At that time, there was 2.1 uh, active military. Okay, well, that's interesting. How many of those 19 million veterans are enrolled into the VA healthcare system? Presently, uh, the VA uh, estimate, well, they, not estimate, but they have uh, 9 million veterans in the healthcare system, or about 4% of the entire veteran population. And how many veterans are there in the state of Wisconsin? It is estimated that there are just over 362,000 veterans in the state. And before you ask, there are just under 7,000 here in Sheboygan okay. County. Okay, all right. So we will be talking about VA claims and reported backlogs on claims. So let's refresh everyone about the healthcare system, VA healthcare system enrollment. Veterans generally must be enrolled to receive VA health care. Enrollment assures veterans that comprehensive health care services are avail available when they are needed. If you served in active duty service and were separated under any condition other than dishonorable, you may qualify for VA health care benefits. Very good, Dwayne. That's about as concise and accurate a statement about veterans' enrollment in the VA health care system as there can be. So now let's refresh our Sheboygan County veterans on access to the veterans' 
uh, health care system. Okay, and we've probably repeated this on mo most every show. For Sheboygan County veterans, you need to call the Sheboygan County Veterans Service Office for an appointment at 920-459-3053. Remember, you need to use the three-digit area code now for all phone calls. Great reminder, and I anticipated your next question about wait times for enrollment. And I contacted and talked to um, Greg Stewart of that Veterans Service Office. So this is what he had to say. The VA healthcare enrollment normally takes around two to three weeks to be processed. That said, your force, first appointment most likely will not be that quick. He said, uh, if, if everything goes right, your first appointment could be around a month wait. Okay. That would depend on the medical center and their staffing. And by the way, the reason for the calling for an appointment is so that they can better serve you. Okay. Now here's a scenario. As a veteran, I'm qualified for health care, but when I was actively serving, I was injured, and now that injury is causing me grief and some disability. What should I do? Now comes the interesting portion of dealing with the VA, and that is filing a claim. An injury or illness occurred as a result of your service to our country. What evidence will I need to provide to support my claim? Right directly from the VA um, website. You can help to support your VA disability claim by providing documents such as a VA medical records and hospital records that relate to your claimed illness or injuries or that show your rate of disability has gotten worse. Private medical records and hospital reports that relate to your claimed illnesses or injuries or that show your disability has gotten worse. Now, Dwayne, that is a very short version of what needed. Um, the Veteran Service Office, which we just talked about, can assist you in furthering your claim. Okay. There are reports about the VA has backlogs regarding claims. What do you know about that? This is uh, from an email uh, that I had received from the VA, and this is what I found for the current month of October 2021. Now, as of October 11, 2021, there are more than 204,000 backlog claims in an inventory of 603,000 total claims. Six, six, yeah, 603,000. 603,000. Wow. Wow. Now, the VA identified more than 70,000 claims to review for entitled, for additional entitlement, meaning increasing their, their uh, uh, monetary uh, claim, stemming from the presumptive relationship between Agent Orange and Parkinson's bladder cancer. Many of these will enter the backlog in October, which is projected to re reach 260,000 pending claims. Okay. So with that many claims pending, does the VA have a plan to get ahead of this surge in, in their backlog claims? Right. Now, again, they continued on with this and starting this month, October of 2021, the Department of Veterans Affairs will hire and train new staff to ensure veterans' claims are adjudicated quickly and help reduce an, an expect, expected increase in the backlog claims. And those claims will be pending more than 125 okay. days. Now, the VA is taking the following proactive steps. They plan and hire and train 2,000 new employees to assist claims processing. Utilize funds provided via the American Rescue Plan for overtime to ensure timely claims processing and then deploy requested fiscal year 2022 budget resources to support Agent Orange presumptive processing as well as for general compensation and pension claims processing. And I mentioned the word Agent Orange a couple of times. 
that is as a result of defoliating areas in Vietnam during the right. Vietnam War. Right. Many many things related to that. Correct. So it looks like they're they're beginning to get a handle on this and take care of this. Okay. Uh, can you tell us the veteran error numbers of pending and backlog claims? Now, for those pending 603,000 uh, plus claims, 21% are Iraq and Afghanistan veterans, 31% Gulf War, and 37% Viet 37 Vietnam War. The rest are um, other, other um, eras. As okay. for the backlog, of the 204,000 plus, 17% are Iraq and Afghanistan veterans, 28% are Gulf War veterans, and sadly, 44% are Vietnam War. Uh, the rest are um, of the other eras. Okay. So what is the average time of a pending case? Well, that number is all over the page. Cases are considered backlog when they reach 125 days plus. Okay. What about Sheboygan County dealing with these times? I anticipated that question, and I then uh, went to Craig Stewart with that question, and this is how he answered. Um, that is a, that's a difficult for him to answer, because this would depend on what the claim is for, how many issues are included, where the claim is worked, the VA uses a national assigned system for claims. So when Craig, for instance, submits the claim to the claim intake center, it is placed in the national network assigned system and then picked up by the next available claims agent. This could be any regional office in the United States. Some are very efficient, like Milwaukee, and some are slow. He, was seen, he has seen some claims adjudicated in a month's time. Okay. Some sit for upwards to two years. Okay. So wow. understandably, he doesn't have a, uh, a backlog number. Okay. So basically, veterans, as with the rest of the world, are dealing with a bureaucracy. And that's correct. <laughs> and that's why veterans need to see, seek help from their local veteran service office. They're trained to handle, at times, complicated paperwork required by the VA. Okay. Well, we certainly talked about some large numbers, and hopefully our viewing veterans realize how important it is to contact their local veteran service office for help. And here locally, again in Sheboygan County, that is area code 920-459. 3053. Okay, that's it for this set segment of Veteran to Veteran. Now, it isn't our intention to discourage any veteran to apply for the VA care, uh, health care system or file a claim. Just be patient, and there are dedicated people at your local veteran service office to help you. Thank you for visiting us. Stay safe and stay healthy.